big weekend. The Orchard Lake Fine Arts Show is this weekend in West Bloomfield. Every year the event pulls together some of the most unique work from across the United States. we got some of it right here, right now. Joining me this morning with a preview, Patty uh, Narazny. Narazny, you got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> the event producer. And we have artists. We have Owen. Owen, say your last name for me. Whittakins. Whittakins? Yeah. And then we have Joe Mazzola. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Thank nice you. to be here. So um, how much art is there and uh, what do we expect to see? Well, as most people know, this is the art show to go to. It's one of the top 100 art shows in the country. Ten years in a row, there's about 145 professional juried artists. I must uh, say that it's juried by art professionals who have an art education. It's based on originality, technique, and exec execution. But I also want to say there's something for everyone in all price ranges. Okay, good. Let's talk about, uh, well here we're getting a little bit of video too of uh, some of the things that you'll see at the show, some of the booths. Um, Owen, I want to talk about your art. Tell me what, um, wh how do you describe this? It's um, beautiful. I Thank you very much. It's pen and ink pointillism. So pointillism, I yeah. mostly draw animals and it's all dots. Everything are with very, very, very tiny dots. In fact, I have to wear a magnifying glass like this over my head so I can actually see as I'm going. Really? Yeah. So everything is, and what's the beauty of pointillism? Um, uh, is it the I, nuance? Yeah, I enjoy being able to make a lot of different textures using very, just, just simple dots, like kind of minimalism. Also, since these take between 40 and 50 hours a piece, they can be kind of therapeutic or almost like meditation at times. And you um, use a, a pen and pencil for that? I do a pencil sketch and then I go over it with like a really, really fine tip pen. Very nice. Okay. Um, and what do we have over here? Uh, this is 3D mixed media art. This is a 1927 Atwater Kent speaker enclosure that I repurposed into a table lamp that rotates and is dimmable. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Right here is a 1940s ammunition box that I mounted a Bluetooth speaker, USB port, um, functional voltmeter, VU meter, and this also has bulbs that rise up with a dimmer switch. Look at you! <laughs> How do you think of this stuff? Uh, I, I have a little help from my brother. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's creative also. And this turns out my water belt. Oh wow! A little table lamp. So, what is it, you enjoy repurposing and modernizing this stuff? Yeah, and, but making it functional also. Right. Yeah, that's the key. Is sometimes you you like to look at the art, but when it's functional, that's good too, right? Absolutely. Uh, okay. So, tell everybody uh, what do we need to know to well, attend? It's this Saturday and Sunday. Saturdays ten to six. Sundays ten to five. It's located in beautiful West Bloomfield, south of Maple, west of Orchard Lake Road, and plenty of parking behind. Beaumont Medical Center, located at 6900 Orchard Lake Road. Park all the way in the back, and I'll take you right up to the show. See our love art buyer. See you there. All right. Very good. Very good. Hey, thanks, guys, for coming in. Thank you. Yes, thank you thank very you, much. Uh, we have the details on our website, too.